Hey friends and family, it's James with Crawlers and Customs and we are here with all of or many of the trailer option versions that you can print uh, with their printed home files. So we'll grab a couple of these and run through them so you can see everything that you can do and all the options available to you. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I think we should take a look at the standard trailer first. Uh, this one is the most scale, I think. Um, you know, if you drive around the highway, you're going to see these all over town. Um, this has a nice low ride height, and as we go through it, you're going to see there's going to be a lot of options here. So probably the first call out is going to be fender options. There's a ton of different ones for different wheel sizes. Um, there's a couple different axle heights. There are options to run the Amazon style axle or to print your own axle, which is on this vehicle or on this trailer. Um, there's a couple different hitch height options as well. You can see there's a working um, um, wheel jack here. And basically this box is one print, the nose is one print, and then you have the trim items, the um, basically the frame. You can do a couple different options on the top of the trailer. Let's turn around and take a look at the back. So um, there are some hidden channels in here to run a three millimeter uh, red LED. So it'll, it'll light these up nicely. And the trailer door functions with these small hinges. And this is pretty large. I'm gonna put my hand in there so you can see. Um, let's grab, this is an SCX24 with a, um, a static model quad body on it, but you can see how nicely that fits in there. You know, show up to the trailer, uh, show up to the park, drive this thing out. It's gonna look pretty dope. Um, also fits 110 scale motorcycles really nicely. So the new Ray bikes, like this R1, or the dirt bike, they fit in there really nicely. And that's kind of what you would see, you know, if you put two motorcycles in one of these trailers, that's kind of how they would sit. All right, so let's keep going. Take a look at the bottom of this trailer and show you some of the axle, axle options. So these are just sitting loose in here because I don't have the threaded rod yet, but these are designed for a four by 10 by four millimeter bearing and an M4 threaded rod. And there's a couple different uh, axle heights you can get uh, or you can print up. And this is about 190 millimeters, 194 millimeters, which is wider than a lot of the aftermarket style ones that you find on Amazon. So this works really well on this size trailer. Um, you can actually see the... Uh, routing for the hidden LED wires. They come up through here and they pop out. It's gonna be a little hard to see, but they pop out of this little hole right here. So you can run them through that hole, again, out through this other hole and towards your vehicle to power the lights. Um, you could also drill and just run a, a separate battery pack inside the nose of the trailer because there's plenty of room in here. Um, but that's the standard trailer. Let's take a look at a couple of the other ones. All right, here's the slammed trailer. So about seven millimeters of ground clearance. This is gonna be awesome behind touring cars, drift cars, low rider trucks. Um, this is probably my favorite one. As soon as I started building them, I knew I wanted to get something lower to the ground. So you can see the offset hitch here. This is just an M3 uh, rod end. So you can run an M3 bolt through uh, another standard receiver and you're towing this. So the body itself is actually uh, the axle housing. And you can also print up these 12 millimeter thread on spacers, which uh, thread onto M4 bolts. So this trailer rolls really well, even though there's no real axle, right? But check that out. So you can tow this behind you at the drift track or at the show and shine, and you're definitely gonna have the lowest trailer. Same thing as the other trailers. Uh, the rest of the function is pretty much the same. I did have to order some M4 bolts. These are a little bit too long, so you can see I put another bearing there, but these, again, use the four by 10 by four millimeter bearing, two on each side, just press them in, run your bolt through, thread on the 12 millimeter, you can kind of see it in there, thread on your printed 12 millimeter spacer, and this fits the traditional drift wheel size perfectly. Um, so this one's pretty cool, and we'll get some video of this this weekend at the drift track. And you can also see the uh, um, lowered style fender on this one, kind of old school versus new school. And the crossed wrenches um, design. All right, so that's the slammed trailer. Let's go to the next one. 
All right, the expedition style enclosed trailer. So this is running the tallest uh, axle or suspension option along with a uh, traditional class two style tire. So this is like your TX4 style tire. So the main difference here, it's the same body again, um, but you can see different suspensions. So you can also print this leaf spring adapter in these TPU leaf springs. Let's see if we can show them working. There you go. And so that gives it nice articulation and um, this is running a Amazon style uh, aluminum axle with some hex extenders. You could of course um, print your own axle with, with our included file, run your uh, M4 threaded rod and you don't have to actually run these um, hex extenders on it because the axle, axle housing itself is wider. Um, so it's nice and tall and you can see the door still drops all the way down. So you can load up, you could put some sodas in there, you could put some extra batteries, you could put a 124 scale in there and drive around. All right, so that's the lifted, pretty lifted trailer. All right, last trailer, it's just different color combination. I like this one a lot, this light gray with black, I think it looks super modern. You can see the, uh, the wheel jack with the rolling caster wheel here, it is height adjustable, so you could turn that and get different heights for different wheels. And um, the door options are a uh, blank door, a cross wrench door, or a CNC garage door. Uh, for our fully assembled trailers, we're going to be offering custom graphics back there. So reach out to us if you've got a hobby shop or a club and you want your graphics on the back of the trailer. We can work that out with you. Um, but that's the gray and black trailer looking modern and sleek. All right, guys, so that's it for the trailers. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any suggestions, I'd like to hear those too. Um, but hopefully there's going to be enough options for you to print whatever you want to do to build this trailer out to suit your needs. And uh, we appreciate you guys. I'll drop a link for the files down below. And if you found this video helpful, you want to see more in the future, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. All right, take care.